here. Renekton, obviously banned from the top laner of Get Colonized. Mr. 2 million mastery points, still hanging in strong. Then another ban from Akali came out for Get Colonized against Acceleration. Wukong ban from the blue side. Swain ban from the red side. And a Tristana ban once again from the blue side. In what I believe to be a Camille ban, considering a surprise pick, which is the support of Acceleration, can actually play Camille support. But no, it's going to be the Jin ban against Dice to Bubbles. Pantheon picked up by Acceleration. Great quadruple flex has been secured to see. What is Get Colonized going to answer with here? Elise has been left open. Nar has been left open. But they're ultimately going for Hecarim here. Yeah, it's still the most... Oh yeah, so it's Pantheon jungle probably, right? That's good. So we flex into mid, top, and support as well. But then Hecarim Massive. is a nice, safe jungler against it. Hecarim, of course, can get basically just be there as the disruptor. It is a preferred pick for Get Colonized to pick up the Kai'Sa. Wow. That is a surprise, considering... He's on a real uh, AD carry. The second... <laughs> he, he's on a real AD carry instead of a mage. Yeah. Well, considering the Lily has been hovered, I don't think this Pantheon is going to end up in the jungle. Or they're playing Lily at top lane, but I really doubt the likelihood of play it's someone playing Lily at, Lily at top lane. at top lane. Oh god, Guarantee please it. no. Please no. I don't want more Moonstuff abusers. I prefer the Gore Drinker abusers, even over that. Yes, I'm saying no, it now. No, 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 Drinker over Moonstuff. It's a nerf fact. to the Olafs. He already receives a nerf in 11.3. We only have to wait one more week till he's no longer banned in EDC because, like, three tenth of his healing gets removed. Vein picked up by acceleration. Considering you're more knowledgeable when it comes to dice to bubbles, do you think he's a good vein? Uh, I think that's a that's like a secret pick because, uh, like the most AD cares that I know, he plays his his favorite is Senna. Then then comes Jin and Kaisa. And they already picked, yeah, they banned Jin, they picked Kaiser herself. And I don't really know what he plays afterwards. He plays Saya, and then it's Fane. So I think he's still decent at this carry. He could still surprise us. He's pretty good. I'm going to end up seeing. Meanwhile, the, the Leona picked up, and the Yasuo bit. Yeah, I can understand why, but this Pantheon, I, I think, might actually go for a mid lane Pantheon here. So. I think Acceleration might just ban away the Gnar, and then we, for the first time, yeah, might actually see get colonized top laner on something new. Oh wait, no! He played the cannon during last game, which was yep, a really big did. surprise for me. No, because they needed AP. Their full team was... they had a lot of AD already. Considering both support, yes, the Camille ban, I just wanted to mention that both the support and top laner might not be locked yet. So banning the Camille away from Acceleration right now is a really good move by Colonized here. What could Acceleration still ban away? I guess Victor is a good ban that they nah, could offer. Did they play for. Victor? Probably Lucian, yeah, the, maybe. The mid, the mid laner, skill shots only is a Victor main. Victor is. is his highest mastery champion, but Cannon actually oh, gets removed. They don't want to play well. against the Cannon. They just don't want the top laner of Get Colonized to be on any comfort whatsoever. Banning away four of his champions. Jesus. That man's champion pool is getting pinched more and more. Ah, uh, he's still fine. It's only four bans. <laughs> what are we going to see now? I get... Maybe we see... Yeah, the victor oh, here the coming victor. out for Get Colonized. It is the victor here. Just as predicted that it would be played. Then Acceleration, what are you going to answer with? Morgana's open, but I don't think you want to go for Morgana. That would just be kind of a pointless pick, in my opinion, here. Could opt for it, but uh, I don't see it happening. Pantheon, of course, is still... I don't know how good Pantheon plays into mm. Victor. I think that matchup is not something you want to go for. So what I believe is that Pantheon Aradia might Nautilus? just go in the bot lane. Nautilus. Morgana? Irelia's top nine, I think they might actually opt for a mid lane counter pick against the Victor and put the Pantheon in support next to the Vayne. Oh yeah, Pantheon support. What I would like to see is a bit more AP from the side of the Acceleration team. So probably more of an AP mid laner that does well in the Victor. But it's fine if painful. you don't... Oh, Syndra! Hm. Syndra coming that out works. here for the mid lane. 
It is a decent draft. There's a lot of damage on the side of acceleration, but not a lot to soak it other than Pantheon E, which makes him part invulnerable. Okay, so hear me out, yeah? Yeah. It's gonna be Lilia oh. top lane, Pantheon oh, jungle, no. Aurelia mid lane, Fane AD carry, and Syndra support. 100%. 100%. You're saying that we're gonna see a Lilia top? Yes. Pantheon jungle, Irelia mid, and then Vayne Syndra. I don't think one of the teams would like to opt for an inve- Never mind, I already see the on my way ping. There nah. is going to be an invade here. No way that they're is invading. There? No, okay. Good. Well. Well. Oh, Acceleration is getting feisty. Four people bot lane. Ah, but the guy says fine, they can't do shit. No, they won't do it. They won't do it. And this they're is just stacking. Good passive set. Yeah, they're stacking. Hoping that the opponents will do anything, but as we can see, get colonized. Not exactly trying or attempting mm. anything here. Like, just I waiting patiently. I That's can understand the, uh, Prest uh, the, the Conqueror from the Pantheon, but I don't know. I still feel that Prestia's deck is better in lane, right? Oh yeah, of course it makes people vulnerable, but... But you just proc that... it so easily with your stack W. I think it's a better option because, well, Acceleration doesn't really have that many great tank options, so going for the Conqueror combined with Gordrinker might actually be the way that Romeon wants to go with this pick here. Just to provide Acceleration with a bit more of a front line because they don't really have a clear-cut tank in their composition. Yeah, how are they gonna win the fights? Is it by flanking with like the the Aurelia and the Pentian ultimates, or Look is it a high champions. pass? Uh, it's gonna Lilia be a high pass. Lilia sleep. and Syndra. It's a hard. It's a quick pick with the Lilia sleep onto one of the carries. Syndra are just deleting and removing one. After that, uh. it's skirmishing, and we'll see for the best. Vain though in the late game. Doesn't really have a lot of empowerment, unless the Lilia, as you predicted, will opt for a Moonstone build. Personally, I'm not a fan of it, and what I believe is what we're going to see is a Lyandri's Anguish here for the jungler no. on the side of Acceleration. Now I don't think you go Lyandri's Anguish anymore on uh, on Lilia. Nowadays you, you go uh, no, you you go uh, the 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 heal one, the one that deals true damage. Does it still heal you? Fuck. Uh, you mean Rift Maker? Yes, does it still heal you? You go Rift Maker? No, I don't think you want to go Rift Maker. Why are they being so pushed back? Of course, pa oh well, level 2 of course at the advantage for bottom lane, but I don't <laughs> really think that this is anything you want to go by. Of course, they are showing a decent amount of respect because level 2 Pantheon is strong after all, and they would be able to remove the Kai'Sa early on as Kai'Sa doesn't really have a lot of damage early, but god, does she scale well into the late. Whew. Dude, as, she, as soon as she gets her collector, like the Kraken Slayer collector, it's just over, it's done. Well, I actually believe that if I know set player correctly, and what they may want to accomplish is getting away from stuff as quickly as possible, Considering that's the kind of a composition that Acceleration runs, they want to be in your face, and if you can get out and kite it out with the Kai'Sa, I think going for the Gale Force is actually the better option here. Oh, as we see the jungle, jungle fights. Hacker already half HP, but smites. Aurelia getting low, is just getting taken down. Ash W. Ooh, Ooh flash in from the Senna, getting the kill in the Hecarim. Will she be able to kill? Ooh, the Malfit also dies. Great they... two kills. Syndra secured the priority in the mid lane. Ooh, Lilia's is fast. Victor has the flash. Even Look at the movement speed. Victor flash. That is illegal. And three Dark Harvest stacks go over to the Lilia. That is a good start for acceleration. That, that is definitely a great start. Already taking a 1k goal. One kill given over to the Lilia, one to the Syndra. Of course, despite being in the fight, not a lot gained for the Aurelia, but. Considering the wave state in the top lane is pretty much neutral, as we can see on the minimap. Malphite with a CS disadvantage as well as to assist getting Hecker. behind oh, in the gold stun? early on. Oh, the ignite! He's just dead. He can't get out. He already fl he, he just goes and up. He can't even use the ghost. 
Lilia's getting stunned, getting CC locked, but she just she's too fast, she just walks out. They can't do anything. Care. Are they keeping, they keeping going? Oh, the stun? The That's green from the Pantheon. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Tower shot may not have killed you, but that Kai'Sa Q still manages to get the Pantheon here. I still, still would have died. Still not managing to salvage the situation a little bit. The tower shot kills him nowadays, right? He can't block it anymore. Really? That's yeah. a lack of game knowledge on my part. Ooh. Oh, the Fane! One HP, Kaisa. There was a Q into a, oh. auto, a Q into an auto, and then a condemned. So close. But it also cost the Vein the flash here. And because this flash is down now, this means that get colonized can get a real big lot done. As pretty much all summoners, except heal, are down for the acceleration bot lane right here. It's going to be rough, but Hackerim, of course, being set behind really far by the Lilia. And great macro out of the side of acceleration this game. Lilia's a level ahead already, so I think she's just gonna path to Drake now? Well... There's a huge bot lane priority when it comes to dragons already for the side of acceleration. Mid lane, as we've seen earlier with the skirmish for the top side rift scuttle, was also secured by acceleration. I think this dra first dragon, especially considering the strength of the early game pantheon, is going to be completely in favor of acceleration. As we can see, the Lilia pathing to bot lane might clear one or two camps, or maybe take. Krugs, red raptors, and then go to the dragon. She will probably reach six in the meantime as well. So if a fight breaks out over this dragon, Hakrim will likely not be six while the Lilia is, and that is going to be a huge different maker for this fight. Hakrim is going top, trying for a gank, probably. He's waiting in the tribush. I don't He's think coming we'll in, but it's but he is running in. Oh, the dash to dodge the ultimate, but. Getting, isn't enough? Uh, it isn't enough, fuck. but God, did it look beautiful by AO to dodge that Hellfight ult. That was Ooh. a nice cue to dodge the ultimate. That must hurt the pride, and now with the jungler sided on the top side of the... This is a free goal call for Acceleration to go in for this dragon. This will be uncontested, and get colonized is probably just gonna take some farm and try to farm up. They're not gonna contest this. Really good macro coming out of Acceleration. But yeah, but still a nice if... gank for the Hecarim. He's going back. Still, it was the right decision for get colonized. If they managed to f try and fight for this dragon, I don't think they had a shot at winning this team fight. Lilia was six. Hecarim still hasn't reached level six, so the experience gap right here is so huge. Oh, but they're plundering the Hecarim bottom side jungle already. Yeah, Hecarim tried to invade the top side jungle, but it just didn't respawn yet. He was very unlucky. And that is going to put a massive damper in to his game as well, because Lilia's just snowballing this lead. Mm -hmm. Already ahead by four camps right now, a full clear ahead, and still has most of her jungle remaining, compared Do to the think... Akarim, which has been robbed from a buff and the Gromp. Do you think it, 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 it's weird that Fane didn't opt for the uh, cleanse as well? She took heal. In all honesty, yes. But maybe they're gonna try some weird Mikhail's not. Lilia, but no. Yeah, Lilia Moonstone, so going. she's not going to play some. We already right knew here. that she wasn't going to play Moonstone when she got the Dark Harvest. <laughs> I mean, hey. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You can always believe. Yeah. And Jungler. <laughs> and what you kill side. makes you stronger. Well, that's definitely true, but in the case of Get Colonized, it doesn't look like that much. Oh, here we see another top fight. Malphite engaging on the Victor Irelia. coming in, getting stunned, but... Get stunned by the off? outer part of the E of Irelia. Oh, yeah. Nice touch from the gank. Really good escape by Irelia. Irelia has really escaped from a lot of sticky situations already they're so just trying, far. Are they trying for the Victor? He's waiting in there. Oh, I think they're collapsing oh. on him. Oh, but he walked out. Definitely. They're collapsing oh, Hecarim on him. running in. Is he gonna ult? Oh, double ult! Well. Nice flash! Massive ult going in, killing the Hecarim! They're just running, One, two, running down three. the Victor! And the wall was to be able to get the Hec... The, who, the Malphite. Get colonized, it's just getting slapped around by acceleration here. Dude, they just fully committed with two ultimates on their Rayla and she just flashed over the wall! 
3,000 gold lead already for the side of Acceleration. They're playing this game really well. And considering they have a vein scaling towards the late game, Dark Harvest being infinite scaling, Gat Colonize is going to have a real tough task to get back into this game because Acceleration oh. just doesn't get their foot off this paddle right here. They're freezing the bot lane. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that sucks. man. It was a good freeze as well. Leaving four minions alive means this wave can always, at this point of the wave, remain here. But good break of the freeze here. The yeah, Colonize had to. had to break it, but they are afraid. But Lilia was. <laughs> Recently, still sighted, so they're so afraid of the Fane. I don't understand. She only has boots. Yeah, but don't forget, they don't know where the jungler has been for the last 20 seconds now. She could be right there waiting for you. Though, sleep being still being on cooldown, that lullaby during the fight earlier, hitting onto two people, both the Victor and the Hecarim, pretty much won the fight for them already. Yeah, nah, the fight that won the thing that oh won in the fight God. was the flash. Just the Aurelia how flash was insane. The Lilia is already one and a half k gold up over the Hecarim. Of course, having three kills advantage, massive CS advantage, and already picking up the Leandri's anguish as predicted. Dear God, <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel the knife and the butter that is get colonized's comp just getting sliced apart by this. But no, yeah, Hook. Dude, they don't even scale better than the other team. This is so weird. How did they lose early game? Well, Victor does scale a bit better than Syndra, if you ask me. Kai'Sa yeah, and Vayne scale team. equally. Pantheon falls off compared to Leona. Hecarim and Lilia technically go equal, but I think that once Dark Harvest reaches a high enough point, she's just going to be a fucking nuisance to deal with with that afterburn. It's an Aurelia both late Lyandris. game. Nothing kills an Aurelia late game. Considering the Dark minutes. Seal was picked up by Lilia, I think the Lilia may just opt for Magi's. Ah, uh, that's gonna be so ballsy. Well, if she Break manages will be coming to up in 10 seconds. stacks, that movement speed bonus, Hecarim seems to be looking for a mid lane gank, but nothing's happening yet. Ooh, they already moved bot side. They're just gonna go for this Drake. They really want it. It's a fire Drake. It's very nice. It's not good for the comp. Ooh, slow. Bowling ball near Victor, but they're not gonna go in. They're not going to commit. They, they the believe trigger. that there will be a team fight over this dragon, and I think that's why the Lilia held on to because it will be having a lot more impact. But the jungler is even there. That. He's yeah, just taking the top side. On the top side. He's just, just trying to get up. resources. And meanwhile, they also get a big chunk of money from mid lane for the platings. The plating, 320 gold secure, of course, shared by the Syndra and the Lilia. Hecrim may be farming in the jungle, but you're not going to get anything done. Two dragons, 2k gold lead, and of course a few platings in the lead now as well. Though, and top actually in the favor of the Malphite when it comes to plating. Yeah, but those are... Did you, oh, nice flash engage! And they just get him! But Syndra's caught out, but she managed to blow them away. Hecrim ulting in. Oh wait, not Hecrim. Fenton ulting in. Great ult by Pantheon, to be honest. Just covering if got colonized. Try to commit further. The entire team already crawled upon them. Ooh, stun hit by the Aurelia. Just, just auto attacking him down with the passive. He doesn't uh, have she... more than a cloth armor. He doesn't even have Bramble Fest, and he just takes nothing. Dude, she doesn't even Combo. have Blade of Ruined King yet. But he just takes no damage from the Aurelia yet. But just it hurts. Just... Did you see? Oh, Hecarim coming in for a gank. They're running into oh. the offco, getting ulted, getting ran over, and she's just dead. Stun misses. Unlike last time, that could be done as well. Victor. Ooh. Victor just somehow got almost just got to the Lilia as well. Jesus. Nah, Lilia was fine. She still had flash, and Victor used his flash. Oh, but they're yeah, gonna go, they they're gonna to. clash in the, the, the river. They should have flashed the ult. Hecarim getting stunned. Hecarim getting... went way too far forward. Are they gonna chase? No way they're gonna chase. Oh, Lilia's Lilia going can for just this. Run him down. Oh. Lilia should bowling ball here. She'll definitely she attempt. Oh, she misses though. That is unfortunate. Hecarim will get away, but oh, just so with a sliver of health. Dude, acceleration playing this game really well. It's just and a now, race car. <laughs> it's insane. Dude, we're watching F one. Welcome to the Lilia F1 edition. <laughs> We're watching for Formula 1, man. Holy shit.
When will Lilia become an available livery? One. I uh, will yeah, need to see this. Yeah, but she has to bump into other cars to get her Le movement speed. League fans and Formula One fans unite for this amazing concept of Lilia racing. Ah, you Dear just want to get God. League sponsored in the Formula One, man. That's gonna be dope. Dear God, God, I hate my jokes. Victor oh moving into the bot lane, and their mid lane, uh, their bot lane is moving to the mid lane for get colonized. One thousand gold lead for Lilia. One thousand gold lead for Syndra. Equal in the top lane, but still, you can see where the difference is. They're three k behind already. They're, ke they're still really keeping surprising. up. Which is No, they're, they're keeping up, so that's good. Considering these teams have been rumored to be on the same level, it seems like acceleration is. Cooling at colonized so far in these early macro moments. It looks moments. like a stomp for now. It's really weird. I wouldn't call it stomp, but once it oh, going in on the tower again. Oh, he tried to get out. Nice TP out. coming in. Aurelia keeping alive, I staying alive. I think this will cost the life of Syndra as well, because she won't survive. If no, yeah. Ooh, oh, she almost gets the mall fight. Ooh. That now was unfortunate. Getting that away with nothing right there. Syndra Aurelia almost was... managed just to salvage that TP. Gold almost. cap has been reduced to 2000 though, but first turret will be taken by Acceleration, who is now back almost to their 3k gold. Oh, Lilia caught out. On the Lilia. Lilia, oh, this is oh, going to cost you severely. Pentelope going in, but it's not enough. Oi, oi, oi. Kill given over to Kai'Sa, that's a massive shutdown in the favor of Get Colonized. They're back in this game with only 1k behind now. Ooh, Pentil and Aurelia going mid lane, are they going in? Stand on the uh, Leona. Leona. Next turn misses. Misses. Dear. Get Colonized managed to salvage that left and right to get something, but... Faye just destroyed another <laughs> turret on her own! <laughs> what?! Uh, I guess that just happened. What? Dude, okay, she, so a little bit about dice to bubbles. One. He is good in team fights, but when you don't look, when you just don't, when he, when he is when he isn't at a team fight, he just takes something from you. I, you thought don't I, was, I thought I really was the split push champion. <laughs> yeah. What's the split push vein doing? Well, nobody was there to, to help her. Uh, no one's there to counter her, so. Wait, wait, let's follow the seismic shard that we see coming to the base. Yes, yes, it's running there. It will hit the Irelia in the spawn, and there it is. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Going all the way from the pink ward to the spawn. Amazing. That is one big rolling blade. Leona engages, oh! Malphite engages. Oh, Leona engages. Oh no, yeah, they Lilia. caught up the Lilia! And, and Cinder wasn't was able to kill all the... Colonized finding picks left and right once again, and they're just back now. Gold is only 500k apart. This dragon will not be a contest. If it gets stolen by acceleration, congrats, but there's a smite up for get colonized here. Ooh. And they take it. <laughs> 230 if... HP though. I mean, hey, as a jungle main, I've, I believe, you know, uh, that you should uh, smite it earlier. When it's not mm -hmm. on 200 HP, when your smite has been up. When <laughs> it can deal 640 damage at this level. I'm just but saying. See, the Wombo combo is finally working. I wouldn't even they call just... it a wombo combo, the Malphite nah. is just slapping them in the face. Yeah, Malphite into the Hecarim, man. That's a wombo combo. And then just everything over goes on top of it. Me Malphite, me Tonk. But that was really lucky that he killed the two people, because he only saw one. Ah, uh, He might have seen one, but god, it was a good engage. And it cost Acceleration their Lilia for a second time, which now has zero stacks on the Dark Seal, which means that she'll... Probably end up with that idea of like maybe Magi is not the buy for this <laughs> game after all. Yeah, so she probably will sell that till the end of the game. Syndra uh, she's now going has for Zonya's right now. She's going for the big sleep place. Let's of just course. hope it's not a five-man sleep. Most of the mythic items coming through. I'm really curious what mythic the Irelia is going to build. Like it could actually be a divine Sunderer this game. I think Sunder wouldn't even be that bad, though, of course, the most preferred one, obviously, will remain the Triforce for most Lilia players. Uh, for most Irelia players. <laughs> and Triforce Lilia, Lilia I players. See that. <laughs> I will make it a thing for you. 
I will put practice in coming week, and I will show you our beloved Triforce Lilia. I'll keep you do that. I'll keep you to that. Oh fuck. What Dude, Thomas have I made? She gets movement speed from auto attacking people then, that's not bad. Then you get movement speed from everything. In all honesty, I would have preferred Gale Force Lily, I think, but... <laughs> <laughs> just shoot people down, just a deer with a gun! Who's being hunted now? A deer with the gun. The hunter. The hunted becomes the hunter. Yes. Instead of the Rengar quote, the hunter becomes the hunted. Uh, still. Such a shame we don't see a Rengar in EDC, but then again, the champion is basically viable. Outside yeah. of solo queue, in my opinion. Gore Trinker is still a thing, right? Tengar, right? Thank Rengar. Tengar. Yeah. Lilia, I don't think you want to face check there. Will they? Malphite getting no, they won't collapse. Good ball by the Lilia as well to just scout out earlier in the bush. We could see that on the minimap. Another turret taken. Sturret score 2 to 3, but get Ooh, colonized! Gold now. Actually, ahead in gold, as I just wanted to point out as well. 1k! Out of the fights, that acceleration just dropped. They had a great early start, but to this mid game, now it seems got colonized, is getting online little by little. Of course, no second items coming through other than the Malphite, who just. For some reason, has managed to get everything. Where's this herald dropped? Mid? I yeah, would have preferred if they the held on to the herald a little longer. And they just want to break open the base and get some money from it. Uh, break open the map. Even if you break open the map, it's. The, I don't know if the mid lane here is exactly where you want to do it. Though it does equal the gold score here right now. Which, to be fair, makes this game even more of an even footing. But yeah, it looked like such a stomp in the early game, but in the mid game they were able to uh, regain themselves, get colonized. Luckily, we're still part in the mid game as well, so they're still at a strong point, though. I'm really curious. I think this game is gonna go to the wire here, and we might just see a near 40 minute game if no Ooh. team <coughs> gives over a huge edge to the other ones. Fane is finally gonna base. Let's see what she's gonna buy. Vayne, of Sky course, not. Involved Two items now. in a lot of kills, just like Victor. Both have just have a kill participation of one. Have either been farming or just split pushing. Like split push vein should be played, right? Oh, they're third ahead now. No wait, they're even in thirds, right? Yeah. Even. Both teams are free free. Gold difference is nothing right now. One hundred gold. Oh not even a hundred at this point. You slowly see a 37.7 and a 37.6. Oh, they're oh, trying to set up a death push. They shouldn't oh. attempt this. Fain, they're going for they're going behind Fain. It's no no no. It's way better here to not go for death push in my Ooh, opinion. Oh big chunk of you... Leona. I saw the Kai's to W land, but I don't think you want to engage there. Leona just Lilia got ball, twelve shots. Just used for scouting. Perfect. It's going to be a matter of can? The Hecarim engage onto the Lilia. Oh, oh big scene! Two men! On the Kai'Sa! On the... Wait, what is happening? Oh, double ult coming in on the Syndra, they just got the Syndra! Missed on dies, but like... Get the Lilia, but Victor shooting left, right, center! Ooh, oh, the Victor is dealing God damage! The damage! He's just clearing everything! Well. Dice to both be able to kill him. No, he just no, dies. He just gets removed by the laser beam. This is why you wanted to ban the victor and not the cannon. We told you in, jump, in the draft. That was no. a good glance from the AD carry from Get Colonized. I think this victor won't be getting through anytime soon if you can see what that just dished out. My what a burn. god. Great fight though. But I do have to emphasize this fight could have been a lot less close. Had Yarn Emission actually hit the onslaught of shadows onto the Lilia, which was still in the Zonius at the time. He mistimed the engage there, and then missed out. Lilia could flash away and then manage to survive a lot more throughout the fight, dealing damage quite a bit more than she should have been originally. Are they? No, no they're they wouldn't just try. removing vision. They're just removing vision. Setting up for this dragon, creating pressure here. Victor, of course, going to shove this wave in right now. Considering both Malphite and Victor have TP, I would have liked to see this Malphite <laughs> go to the bot lane right now, just to push that wave in. 
put the pressure on and remove either the Irelia or Syndra from basically being around this area fast oh no. enough. Lilia's getting caught again. Double ultimates. That just means and this is, is going to be a Baron commit. This is a that Baron is a free commit Baron. for sure. Jungler down. They have down. to fight this. They can't. Wait, are they, no, they don't have to fight this, but are they gonna fight this? No, no, they're not. They're not going to fight this. They know full well that they shouldn't. Fain it's a 5v4, Lilia's down. And they're walking up, Lilia though. Lilia such a big difference maker and has been such a big difference fights when it comes to the fights of Acceleration where they've come out on top. They can't fight without her now, especially since she's the most fed member on the side of Acceleration. Almost having the highest gold as well, because Vayne still has more. <laughs> Fane is farming. Of course. And split pushing. Don't forget, taking towers like there's no tomorrow. That's how... What early is, what game is triple, split push Fane. What is triple dagger building into? Phantom Dancer? Rapid fire cannon could be a thing. No, RFC is only two, two. because that builds in Kirchi's shards and zeal. Oh, they're teaching me. <laughs> I could say hurricane because that does require free, but. R Runon's hurricane vein? Would you want that? Nah, probably Phantom Dancer. I can't Google imagine speed, it right? being and anything else. Better. Yeah, I can't imagine it being anything other. Of course, it did have the lifeline last season, but I'm honestly glad that it got removed. It was way too annoying on a Yasuo. <laughs> Great pressure here. Baron powering up these minions. Ah, but Phantom Dancer just slowly is shooting away on the... Uh, the lifeline of Phantom Dancer. Oh yeah, no, but they put that on the hell ring. Oh, this is hell... Sterex gauge. No. Hex drinker. No, the the hellfire. This is the shield bow. The hell immortal shield bow. There we go. Fuck. The immortal shield that bow. I do admit, a shield. Yeah. That I do admit is another really annoying item to deal with, considering the 27% life steal it provides once mm -hmm. the passive is procced. Hey, really strong. But... Five somehow. Are they going to fight over this? No. Maybe if the uh, Lilia bubble. lands a great sleep, but... Bowling balls missed, so... Great siege here on the mid inhibitor tower, and you see get colonized defending this cannon minion with mm. their lives. Cleanse is up again for the Kaiser, so they can't sleep her right now. Even if they do, and if, and if she stays asleep, I don't know kill her. There's so much peel for that champion. They're breaking in the base of acceleration. Flash engage misses. Leona a bit over eager on the flash, and you see the BM... From the Kaiser to his champion, and the angry bee coming out from the support of Get Colonized. That's some great oh. teammate banter right there. And well deserved. They're just going bot, they're just taking everything down. They should. Extending their gold lead more and more. Lilia trying to find something with the bowling ball, but she's running low on mana. Only is 580 mana right now. Doesn't look all that sunshine and rainbows anymore for them. Who they have a they 5k gold lead now. in the early game, but damn the mid game transition after getting that one good fight for get colonized, they it's... really put their backs into this and just managed to grab it back. It's just the Malphite ultimates, man. It's so oppressive. It's so strong. Well, we did say it before. Sir Crocodile is one of the most impactful players when it comes to EDC games, and of course has one of the highest ranks in the league. Let's be honest here. Guys, I finished Phantom Dancer and Fane as well. Another dragon will be going over to get colonized here because Mountain is spawning. No way that Acceleration can respond to this. They're way too far away. Hmm. And this okay, will so... put get colonized on Soul Point. Yeah, but Mountain doesn't really matter in this game. Yes, they get tanky, but look at the true damage and the percent health damage that Ac Acceleration has. It... Fane, Pantheon... Lelia, Irelia, Divine Sundra, Aurelia. It is the Divine like, Sundra coming out. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I think they it is get, the right decision. They will burst here. through everything if they get Consider the chance. Considering the champions that they're playing against, I think it's a great uh, item to pick up. But mm. they're still sitting on a huge deficit. Oh, yep. 
Ooh, nice. Shield. Trying to get a pick here. But let's go in. Get onto the Lilia once again. Lilia already. Sonia, she's just dead already. Oh no, she she runs out, but gets run over by the Hecarim. Fane getting CC'd and just. Oh, Aurelia fighting the Kaiser on her own, but she has collected. Will she win? No yes, way. she will. Um, Syndra. Syndra, buddy. I, I don't know if that's where that you want to be right now. That is your base, Syndra. That is the wrong place to be. Wait, they're going to let him live? It's the wrong, wrong house, fool. They're going to let oh, him live? Man. You should have uh, I think, I th No, I think that colonized is going to... What? Is it over? What are they doing? No. They're... Why are they taking top? Just take mid. Win the game! No, Pantheon was already 20 up. Yeah, but there was 20 second death timers. You were 5v2! I don't understand. Get colonized yeah. could have ended the game here. Acceleration's big problem is they just don't have a tank to just... There's no block everything. For them. There's no tank, yeah, no frontline. Just After everybody all. can get a regage on and they just die. Easily. And the biggest issue right now, there's just too many team fights around the objectives. The comp that they run, which is a more pick-oriented comp, is just not going to work in their favor any longer. Because of how strong get colonized is. And they keep grouping up around only the objectives. And out of that, they don't take a lot of risks, which is the best way to play this, in my opinion. Of course, they starve themselves of quite a bit of CS, but oh my uh, god! That is unfortunate. Another Lilia death. She should not have been there. She no, started another off. Free Baron. It's just another free Baron. The Lilia keeps dying before the Baron. It's so sad to see. Yeah, but the Panfin was nowhere near to be able to set up well. There was no support team. I think get colonized with this Baron should just be able to end the game on a push here. They should be able to right end now. this. They're just gonna stay grouped as five. Malphite ultimate already on half of its cooldown. And it's still a minute. Oh no. A minute? Can you see the bar going up in the top right? That's not a minute. It's gonna be like 15 seconds till it's back. No. Oh my god. Just the base just, yeah, it just opens. They can't get to the cannons. They can't get to the cannon indeed. And considering it's past 26 minutes, every single... Lilia. Sleep on the Victor. Well, do I don't anything? think no. sleep is going to matter any f I think Acceleration has given Ooh. up on this match. Did you see that cheeky combo from the Lilia and the, the, <laughs> the Lilia and the Syndra? The Lilia just throws a bowling ball right before it hits a minion, Lilia W's the minion. I that think Syndra get... W's the minion. Just I think the get colonized support might, for the first time in EDC, have the most assist for this team now, after four games. He had been lagging behind, behind both the jungler and Ooh. the mid laner. Big but chunk on the Hecarim from the Fane. They're waiting, another inib respawning, they're just gonna take it. Get Colonized is playing this really patiently. Yeah, no, no need to rush it, you can just go bot and take another turret. Will the Baron be long enough though? I don't think Baron will remain up long enough for- mm. Yeah, they're just they resetting reset. now. Oh, but Victor's Victor still just gonna taking... get the wave. Yeah, Victor's just taking the wave for a little bit. Just laughing and smiling. No, don't get hit by this bowling ball. <sighs> then again, Lilia's sleep is still on cooldown. Wouldn't have made a difference. You speed up the Lilia. She moves even faster. And now it's back up. All right. So is get colonized really going to be playing for this dragon soul? How does okay. acceleration turn this around? Will well, they be able to turn this around? They have to shove in both a top wave and a mid wave to even be able to close to this, otherwise both the Malphite and Victor can just TP into their base and end the game. This seems pretty over to me. Yes. The gold lead has almost extended to 10k in the favor of get colonized as well over these last Lilia few minutes. does have a Benchy now, which means that she can dodge the Malphite ultimate. That doesn't mean she can dodge both the Malphite ultimate and the Onslaught Shadows. Plus the Leona over... Both engages are unstoppable, and there's nothing they're going to be able to do against this. I don't think Acceleration would want to give this, this up, This is right? just a free soul, yeah, you're not gonna fight this, are you? You might Are they gonna sacrifice the Lilia here? No, if you sacrifice the Lilia, you're dead. Wait, why are they just... Just get it out, just get it out the thing! Oh, they're engaging! Oh. Pantheon just almost dies. Yeah, the Kaiser, Kaiser jumps in. Kaiser that was... Collectors just gets the Pantheon. 
Nice engage from the Malphite again. It was also really good trigger discipline by the Kai'Sa here, just waiting for the Lilia to use. He stopped after she went in. Of course, four Mountain Dragons on this Malphite will mean that he's pretty much untouchable, he's having 500 in armor and 200 magic resist. You're Hacker not getting misses that. though. Flash from the Malphite, useless. Oh, Fane coming in, can she, will she be able to do anything? No. Calm down, calm down. Your waves are coming in. They'll be here shortly. Just wait, you don't need to call... Uh, Only zero, zero, zero. Please help my team. Ooh, the Victor burn is insane. Sterex was lost now. I think... Victor just burst the Fane? may just hold out here. It just doesn't seem like it colonized can land the decisive blow, or can they? Nexus turret one being taken. They Ooh, should Arena gets stunned. Arena gets locked up. No, Pentium in five men. Leona, Ooh, Lilia just gets Lilia opened again. Dead. But in return, they get the Leona. <laughs> oh my God, this base curve is next to no enter it. Ooh, the one v one between the guys and the Fane just lost. Kaiser just life. Uh, Fainer life. Oh, um, and the ult was back up by Kaiser. Over. We don't have a spectator freeze for the first time ever. GG got colonized after this game, after being behind with 4k gold, manages to get back onto acceleration with the 10k gold lead. They finally take a firm hold now over the first place in the EDC.